to know a secret? Do you promise not to tell? We are standing by a wishing well. Hey guys, um, so today I'm doing the Snow White tutorial. Um, yesterday I did the Little Mermaid one. So I've started off by curling my hair and I've pinned it back to make it appear shorter. I've already put on my BB cream and my foundation to save time. Snow White is very fair so I put minimal foundation but a lot of BB cream and as you can see um, I've tried to make my skin as flawless as I possibly can which is a bit hard. What we're going to do is grab the Tarte eyeshadow and grab the bigger brush because we're going to put the base on our eyes and for Snow White she has um, grey and brown so we're going to start with a light brown and that will be this colour just put it all over there up to the brow arch Okay, also to give Snow White the cartoony look, we're going to use a white eyeshadow. So I'm using this white one. And we're going to put it in the corner of our eye, near the tear duct. It's just to give it that appearance of being doe-eyed and, you know, having larger eyes. Like that. A little bit underneath. And up to the crease of eyelid. Um, we're also going to use the same eyeshadow um, for that 3D eye effect. We're going to put it up here underneath the brow arch and you can blend that in. And we're going back to this tart set and we're going to use um, a grey, like a silvery grey, but not the glittery one. So using this one, put it gently across the crease of the eyelid. Okay, um, once that's done, you can go ahead and um, I have massive bags under my eyes so I'm going to use concealer to fix that up a little bit later on um, what you're going to do is use your eyeliner so I use this one the Stila one and we're going to do that doe-eyed shape like we sort of did for Ariel um, we're going to start on the top this on thick um, mostly from the base um, so I start from the bottom and work on the outer eyelashes Um, what I'm going to do now is shape my cheeks by using an eyeshadow and then blending it in. So, um, Rose, uh, Snow White has very rosy cheeks, so I'm going to use just this one with the larger brush. And then grab your foundation brush and just uh, blend that in. Blend it in towards the bottom. If it's not blending like this one, just use your hands. Pick up your whichever brush you use for your blush. And just I use the Rimmel London one which I showed you 
in the aerial tutorial and um, you're going to put that on the apples of your cheeks. Move upwards, don't be shy with the blush, um, it's Snow White's main feature I suppose, other than her lips. Add a little bit of blush to your temples, just to make it look more natural. Now for my favourite part, which is the lips in this look. So I'm using two colours for the lips and they're both from BYS. There's the Crimson Joy and the Start Your Engines. So there's a dark one and a light one and what we're going to do is line our lips with the dark one. We're going to do that using a brush because we don't want it to be too thick. So it should be very faint when you start and then you can gradually start making it, um, you know, heavier towards the middle. And most Disney princesses have that um, heavier lipstick towards the middle because it gives it that 3D look. Now, um, get the lighter one. This is the one we used for Aerial yesterday, and just put that on top. So my camera battery died, so I have to continue using my phone. Um, anyways, what I've done is I've added a little bit of red eyeshadow to my lips, and that just gives it more glitter. Um, you can put as much lipstick as you want, because that is... Her main feature. I also added more of the lipstick just on top of my lips. Mostly on the bottom. So that's that. Um, finishing touches. We can always um, put a bit more blush if you want to the top to make it more rosy. I think I've put enough because I'm going for the natural look. Um, so you've got everything done basically and now all you have to do is let it set. So while I was changing cameras around my face was resting. Um, now I get the stealer or styler however you pronounce that and use your brush and we're going to put that all over our face because we want it to set really well and stay in place. I don't think I mentioned. Um, I don't like using false eyelashes because they're annoying and since I'm doing this video compilation I don't want to be changing eyelashes all that much. So I won't be using them unfortunately but if you do want to use them, you would probably add them in straight after the eyeshadow before you do your mascara and eyeliner. And then just put mascara again to help it stick. Now we have Snow White's face. And we need to do her hair. So, I told you I'd curled my hair. Um, just let out the front. I'd put it behind my ears to help me while I was doing makeup. And... Um, you can always pin more back if you want to make it shorter, which is probably a good idea. If you don't want to pin it back, you can just pick it up, pick up the piece and put it behind your ear. If it stays, yep, yeah, there we go. Kind of like that. And this, you can always pin that back as well. I'm gonna do because um, it looks shorter it's more like Snow White any loose bits just put pin them back um, if you're going to a party and you don't want all these loose bits put them slide them underneath and put the pin under the hair so it's not too visible and for the red bow I went on costumebox.com.au 
and I um, I bought a few props like the wig that I showed you yesterday so they do next day delivery I think if you live in Australia and it's really good prices as well I got this little bow tie and it's glittery but I thought this might work for our look I'm going to pin the bow so as you can see just like that and that's quite easy and pin it and that's done you've got your snow white look so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, if you have any questions or suggestions please leave a comment below and follow me on Twitter I'll put it down there for you I'm heading off to start filming now for my Disney Princess compilation.